So video number four, that is palindrome or not. Given number is palindrome or not. The simple logic or uh, trick that logic or trick you can say that trick. If you know reverse of a number, reverse of a number, then you are done. You are done. Because if you know the reverse of a number, then Whatever the reverse of number result equal to equal to n that given number, if it is true, then you are done. Okay. So we'll explain first reverse of number, then we'll make it it is palindrome or not. That is given n is equal to 151. Okay. If result output is equal to 151 then it is palindrome number for example n1 is equals to 1 to 3 output will be 3 to 1 it's not a palindrome number okay so here the thing is we'll calculate a reminder that is equals to n percentile by n percentile by 10 okay it will give the reminder so here in 151 percentile by 10 what will be the remainder 1 so we have table for remainder result and n so this time we are not going with n, we are keeping this n as aside and taking some x, I am initializing to x, I am making this is x, I am making it to x. So now I am taking x, also x, x is 151, this is 0, this is g. Now what I got remainder in remainder, I got 1. So what result will be result is equals to result into 10 plus whatever the remainder right. So what is the result this will become 0 plus 1. So it will become 1 then x equal to x by 10 okay. What is x? x is now 151, 151 by 10 what will it come? 15 will come so it will become 15 right so here next 15 until 0 until this becomes x becomes 0 will run the for loop while whatever it is so now x value will be 15 percentile by 10 what will give it will give 5 okay this becomes 5 and result what is the result 1 into 10 10 plus 5 so it will become 15 and x 15 by 10 it will become 1 so it becomes 1 so it's not equal to 0 then again we will run the this for loop so here what it will give 1 percentile by 10 so it will give 1 Okay, this becomes 1. It is 15, right? 15. 15 into 10, this is 150. What is the remainder? 1. So, total it will become 151. What is x? x is 1. 1 by 10. It is 0. When 0 comes, we will stop the loop or terminate. So, what is the result? What I have said, if n equal to, if n equal to equal to result, we'll see it. What is the n value? 151. 151 equal to equal to, what is the result value? 151. 151. So, 151 equal to 151. It is true. Then we can say, uh, C out or whatever it is print palindrome. 
So here in this in this example in this further row we have only one simple modification. What is that? Assign n value x is equal to assign n value to the sum variable x that we need to make it as x. Okay, and here also x equal to x by 10. We remove this. Once this, then what we will do? If n equal to equal to result, then exist. Parent wrong exist. Else does not exist. Does not exist. This condition. If. So simple trick was like if you know the reverse number, reverse of a number, then you will get to know palindrome easily. So we will discuss in next video about uh, uh, Armstrong numbers or prime numbers. So yeah, that's it.